So this is the first vlog back, we're back, back filming with Rugby Productions and his sidekick. So uh, we're just heading down to South Bank right now, four in the rain. Wish us luck. 're back doing the blogs with Dan South Bank today we're going up and down obviously you can see him in the back like Peter Pan's boat so uh captain hook captain hook boat, you want to call it. Peter Pan's go guy so yeah. fair enough <laughs> so yeah we're back doing the blogs everyone's been moaning about me ain't done them for a little while but obviously I've been out injured had a bad leg so I didn't train for two months back training full on now going to start sparring January and hopefully looking for a February date which will be on the new uh, Box Academy bills, which will be February the second weekend, I suppose, something like that. But I'll keep you posted. Love <laughs> <laughs> baby. Step back, don't try to kiss me. Step back, don't try to kiss me. Right about now, I'm 50 50. So, my favorite <laughs> shit. <laughs> my favorite moment of 2012 was obviously my boxing match. I'm finishing the first round. Go on, check the video out as well again. Got like 1200 hits now. Selling tickets, you know, he's, he's brought, he's brought guys down here. Uh, he's looking around, there must be. Three or four hundred that have come here supporting Taylor. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll come again, but performance like this is putting them in well and uh, keep performing like that. You get, you get more again. Very happy as well. Lovely, lovely. Favourite film of 2012? Oh, we just close the Secretly Madagascar 3 by if anybody asks, it's Dark Knight Rises. So, funniest moments of 2012. Well, obviously, I'm a funny guy, you can see all that. But, uh, my good friend Wilma Salsa Man Salazar is on Facebook, so add him as well. But here's a few clips of him when he's uh, not a, not at his best, shall we say? So uh, one one week after the other, after the other, I just rolled it off. He's such a div, but that's why we love him, Wilma Salazar. <laughs> Obviously, you can see I've lost a bit of weight as well. Check that out. Back to a 28 waist. But, uh, so favourite song of 2012 has got to be, without a doubt, Gangnam Style. Come on in here. No! Come on, George. I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> you just can't resist. <laughs> you have to go the extra mile. <laughs> George. Yeah, another thing is sports of 2012. We're going to kick it off with a bit of boxing. Obviously, it's a boxing blog. A good friend of mine, John Ryder. He won his eliminator a few weeks ago to um, get a fight for the British middleweight title. So um, good luck to him. I hope I think that's in February or maybe March. I'm not too sure. But I'll uh, we'll keep you posted on that. Also, the Hat Man, Ricky Hatton, come back. But 
did he come back good enough? No, you never. Right. He come back. He got stopped. I think it was in the eighth round or something like that, the ninth round. But it was just a shadow of himself. I don't think he should have done it, but obviously he had his demons to get rid of, and I think he's done that. But he's being effective, working the body. Oh, and that left hook staggers Sanchenko. Three punch combination, beautifully executed by Hatton. And another digging left hook to the body. And Sanchenko stabs him with a straight right hand, goes downstairs with a left hook to the body. Quick exchange. Oh, and he gets tagged with the right hand. Sench nice one two combination by Sanchenko. Oh, it gets caught with the right hand. There's a left hook and a left upstairs by Hatton. Left hook and down goes Hatton! Zenchenko landed the left hook to the body and Hatton is down! And the comeback ends in defeat! Also another good item of mine, Pacquiao. Pacquiao Marquez number four, Pacquiao gets banged out cold. He looked, he looked like someone at a Barrymore pool party, let's face it. Face down, in the ring, boom, sorted. <laughs> Also 2012, we've got Olympics. How well can we do the Olympics? I know I've said it before, but unbelievable. You've got runners, you've got triathlons, you've got, it's unbelievable. You can't even name all these people. Uh, and also, Wigos, you've got a lovely style. It's got, where's the comebacks, where's the Stan Smiths? You've got to love it. He um, got Sports Personality of the Year. I personally thought Jessica Ennis should have done it, just for the pure effect of what she's done for multiple sports rather than just cycling. Um, a female, she's done so much for these young girls out there to admire her, to aspire to her, and to grow on from that. Also, rather than the Olympics, she's got the Paralympics, she's done brilliant in that as well. I think we come with a second or something like that, but out of all the table, yeah, brilliantly. <laughs> So uh, I hope you've all had a Merry Christmas everybody and uh, have a Happy New Year as well. <laughs> well what about um, <laughs> your dress as Father Christmas? Yeah, I was dressed as Father Christmas. Georgia posts her phone for that, but it's uh, for a good friend of mine. It's for a little girl. Bought uh, a few presents and that. Nothing too expensive, but it's like the unwrapping of the presents that I've got in it. So, uh, and the beard, the boots, the suit, the hat, everything. And it all was all going down. The second presents. She loved it. I'm going to put a photo on Facebook so uh, you can see that later on. Yeah, so Urban Kings come back with some new equipment. We've got another Versa climber in there, we've got new bikes. The Royal um, Courts of Justice. All the boys down there are doing pretty well. We've got a few out of there doing some um, boxing. It's not pro boxing, but they're doing amateur boxing out of there. And um, John Durant has just come back with a British, I think it's a middleweight title or super middleweight title. But, uh, Doing well, there's some posts out there as well. Oh, just going about my normal business, playing on my phone, cheating bullshit. All of a sudden, oh, hello, gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Alright, <laughs> right, start again. Start again. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> going about my normal business, text it. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Going, <laughs> going about my normal business, text him. Dirty mingers and tweeting bullshit. But all of a sudden, good afternoon, sir. 
Excuse me, sir. What can we expect of you in 2030? Well, as a fug life fiend from the fucking ghetto, we can expect to see me back from injury, training hard again, back from injury, hopefully get four or five under my belt in the next year or so. Uh, I've been ranked number 24th in Britain at the moment. That's in the British Boxing Board of uh, Rankings. So uh, I'm hoping to jump up at least 10 spaces in the next year. Uh, pick up some harder fights and hopefully finish on a uh, maybe 6 and 0, 7 and 0 by the end of the year. But uh, thanks for asking, gay. <laughs> <laughs> Please <laughs> 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 well, I need to do something else, that stupid to finish off. <laughs> Done. Yeah, so, um, 2013 is only a week away, less than that. Yeah. So, um, we're holding an audition soon, which will, all the dates and that will be sent out. Audition to the groupies, the team drive by Taylor. All the groupies have to go to these auditions to see if they're good enough, funny enough, whatever. But they get free boxing tickets, they get free boxing t-shirts, they're allowed into the Rago events for free, and uh, there's many more benefits, mostly from me, um, magic massage hands and stuff, and um, the sidekick hanging on this one, so just ignore him. Yeah, so uh, lovely looking ladies, keep an eye out. That's it. Yeah, I am Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm Yeah, so we're back to normal now. Season's back on. Back to training. Just want to get some more publicity out there, some more followers. So if you uh, keep sending your tweets through, that's at JoeWareFate88. And uh, add me on Facebook, Joe Boy Taylor. I'm always putting up photos and having a laugh, winding someone up somewhere. Yeah, so uh, just do that, and uh, I'll probably get back to you. Nine times out of ten, you get a reply, so just send it in and let people know. Just gonna end the last blog of 2012 just by sending my condolences out to uh, Mitchell Cole's family, dear friend of ours, who passed away a few weeks ago now at an early age of 27. God bless. Expected to come in there. Now by Miller, they pull the goal back, Steve Nidge have got a goal and it's been scored by Mitchell Cole.